uh, is there a code or anything like a cancel any time? Be careful if you shoot the doll because he was with the doll. The doll came in first. Shoot both of them. I'll, I'll shoot the doll. And let the buck. Get down, tie her up, make her look like she's alive. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as he tries to moan her, you're going to shoot him. <laughs> well, I may let. Yeah. <laughs> One last hoorah. <laughs> just dropped that off of his spot. I mean, Gary going to go to uh, just, it's the same property. We're just kind of parking in a different spot here. There's a nice 10 point that's been coming down to where dad's going to go. He's just in a little hub where there's a, there's a scrape. And there's a, check the camera today and it's a nice 10 pointer coming in. So hopefully he gets a crack at that. And I'm going to go to a, a spot I scouted uh, last Thursday, I believe. And that's a really good sign. And then Gary's gonna go where he killed a, a big buck a couple years ago. So we got our cover tonight. There's a nice one in here. We're gonna see it hopefully. All right, heading in. I put this camera up. Scrape open over here. I just slipped in here and put this camera up, so we're gonna check it out, see what's on it. I think where I want to hunt is on back another, I don't know, a quarter mile probably, but make a pit stop here. One pretty good buck on here. This is early in the morning when he's here, like 4:30 in the morning, but. I'm gonna go ahead and push back. Maybe he's living in the back back here and making his way that way at uh, in the morning. There's a real big rub on that tree over there. are getting bigger. I just spotted a deer up through here. I couldn't tell what it was. Dang it. All set up again. I never heard that deer run off or anything. I kind of sat down here in the bottom for a little bit. Maybe 10 minutes to let it kind of work its way out of here. But it came off these fingers up here and then down into here, and then went up that way somewhere. I have a oak flat that is just dropping acorns left and right behind me. I found a really nice set of sheds up on top of that hill a couple years ago to a buck that we have pictures of now in this area. Down below me is another, like, bottom here, hub, that has a whole bunch of fingers coming off of it up in, up in this area up here. And then there's a, a scrape back in here. So, it's a good spot. Hopefully, hopefully that didn't booger that deer up. I don't think I did, so. I'll set up here and see what happens. Dad is sitting, uh, like, I don't know, maybe half a mile that way, back towards the road. And then Gary is behind me, on the other side of the big ridge back there. We're all very far apart.
95% sure it was a doe. There was two together, and I, I tried to look through my, uh, it was a young doe, but I looked through my rangefinder to make sure there was no nubs on her head. I didn't see any, but I could be wrong, too. It wouldn't be the first time it would happen if it happened, but oh well. Either way, it's a, it's a doe tag, so. It's early. I'm just going to sit up here and, and, uh, wait for something else to come in, because it didn't really make much racket at all. That's my first, that's my first deer with the new Razor 125 broadhead. Did a good job. I think she died like right over here in the creek, so perfect. I think there's some coyotes right here. Amount of blood that was on her or him is everywhere. Shoo! Man, I don't want that on my. Gross, man. I was gonna try to put it on my back, but she. He has poop all over him. It, it just hit me what that is on his back end. I guarantee those coyotes got on him. That's why I had to, I, I could tell they were right there by him. So I got down so quick to go chase him off. Dang things. I saved him though. Well, I didn't really save him, but you know what I mean. 